Oh, shots, shots. Yo, what is up guys, it's everybody Tech Ninja. In this video, in particular, I'm going to show you a game in which we've had like 0% chance of winning, but even with that such a low chance to win the game, we've actually managed to pull it out. And yeah, we've won the game, so yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, I would really, really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button, hit the like button as well if you like the video and say, let me know in the comments down below whether you'd like me to do more uh, more videos like this i mean more commentary winning videos in which i will focus on explaining everything why do i do that why do i do something else and stuff like that you know so basically just to I'll just say not only like entertain you with playing but also to educate you like why do i do some stuff and why do I not actually do some stuff? So yeah, in this clip you can literally only see just me going one v one versus three and killing the entire enemy squad that was actually camping us. So yeah, let's go straight to the video. Oh, seriously? Whoa. Did they just take full circle advantage? Yeah, they did. Alright. Okay, so this is pretty much the... Like, this is the clip from the end of the game. In which you can see that we have gotten a really, really disadvantageous position in the ring. Oh, my bad. Win, if we will I was... win, I will be definitely carried by both of you. <laughs> Hopefully. You no. mean by ninja? Uh, the only pistol I actually enjoy using is the wingman, and that's why I, uh, I wiped a squad. Well, I wiped two of three members of a squad with, and then my teammates blew themselves up with grenades, and I died the last one. I don't like a single pistol in this game, actually. Wingman is fucking OP. I'm not joking. Okay, so pretty much what you can see now, what you can see here is the. Even though we were kind of looted, we aren't looted like that good. So the moment I found a couple boxes, I've literally just decided to go and loot them and tell my team about it. Because I think that getting a proper loot can really, really be useful. And you will see the having like this kind of loot and something that I've actually taken from the corpses or from the death boxes. It actually helped me a lot in the upcoming fight and yeah, I think that without it, it would be really, really hard to like do something. So yeah, that's pretty much it. What you can see here is that my friends were attacked from behind by a person that was going to ring after us. And pretty much what I've done is the I wanted to kill the person, right? Because like, why the heck? Okay, why the heck would you try to kill someone while running to the zone when you know that people that are running to zone are two and you're only one? Okay, so this was the mistake the the person has done and i think i really punished him and i think that he's not gonna do it again and as you can see uh, his friend actually came to save him right but what happened he went into two people again and of course my friend didn't hit him right because my friend was resurrecting my our teammate but you can see that the person was in favorable position, right? But even then, he missed a lot of his shots. Yo, where are you crawling to, bro? And it literally just led to his death. Because I took my chance and yeah. Every time you have a chance, use it. Because the enemy will not wait for you. So if you have the chance to fire at someone and kill him, Go ahead and fucking do it. You should never ever either bail out on your friends or just literally just stay afk and don't fight yeah, at yeah. all. 
this let's just say this encounter in the mountain is literally a perfect example of what you should be doing as an aggressive champion right if your team is being pushed in the mountain or in any kind of choke point you always always want to flank your opponents right because if you if you come for, like from behind they can't do anything about it right and as you can see here i have pretty much like what like i can just free fire at anyone i want right and that's really what led us to actually what led us to this favorable position uh, at this moment at this point i'm just going to finish the guy with the golden uh, the golden knockdown shield and take it yeah of course a one shot die bitch fox fox Oh, oh. No. what the fire has to oh. took out the kill leader. Uh we need to go. And this is not good actually. We need to get inside that Just shit. Cancel that. Let's go. I have like a trillion heals. I have seven med kits, six hundred percent shields, then twelve syringes and twenty-three armor potions. Okay, so let me just say something from the beginning. I know that it would be way better if I've had like a couple of grenades or just any throwables at all. But the problem was that I really didn't come across any of these. Let's just hope that they're bad shots. Pretty much. I want to... Right? So we are here in the zone. So we want to cover our sides. So I'm pretty much covering only one. And my friends are covering the second, right? The zone, so let's just wait for it. I say I call it care package and out of zone, and it really throws them off from where we are. And pretty much what you can see here is that there are only, as I said, there are only two ways to get in, like in here, to our place, and which is either from the side that I'm covering or from the side that either Advent was covering or that Fox was covering. And I think it's really, really important to take into consideration these facts that if you like, if you cover these choke points, no one can, can really get past through them, right? And that's pretty much what you want to do every time. If you don't feel like you want to push, if you don't know where your enemy is, just control choke points oh seriously whoa did they just take full circle advantage yeah they did all right okay so you have seen this clip once already but i just wanted to point out a couple of things right the like the problem is not that they are in the circle like the biggest problem is that the only way to the circle is through an open area an open field as i call it and they have a sniper right you will see that this person that i wanted to try to shoot at literally just one shot my friend and that was the like that was the point when we like put in a time w in which we realized that he's got a crabber which means that he can literally one shot any of us and if we have zero cover what do you think we can do right the only chance is to smoke and run and run into them and you will see that right now i'm full now screw you <laughs> We, we have to go. Can you smoke? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Oh! oh. Fox almost died again. No, that wasn't me. Okay, so pretty much you've seen me smoke that area, right? So I've, I've smoked both. The entrance in which we want to come in. And then the place in which they were. Which means that only one person was able to shoot at us, and that was the person on the roof. And you saw me actually throw my ultimate, right? And that was the only thing I could have done, and actually worked. And they have got all so scared. 
so they went into the house. And again, you could have seen my smoke utilization. I have thrown I have thrown the smoke and I have thrown it just to bear, just so it can bounce back and smoke the area from which we are coming, right? So it has given me a protection. And you should really focus on these types of stuff. And when you know that it's all it's all easy and you'll like definitely get it. Just go ahead and have fun. You can see that I wasn't even aiming. I was literally just spraying him down because I literally wanted to kill him. Oh. I've killed a bitch. Let's go, baby. baby. Okay, so that was pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Like the video if you like it. And let me know in the comments down below whether you'd like me to do more of these commentary styles videos. And yeah. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.